All right, welcome back to uh, Topher's Garage. So today um, we're not working on the Jeep, um, but we're working on uh, a couple axles that I picked up. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, um, I posted about picking up a, a Dana 30 and a, a Ford 8.8, both in 410 gears. Um, so right now the Jeep's got 307 gears, so uh, this is gonna be a big upgrade. So we flip the camera around and show you what I'm working on. All right, so there's the Dana 30. Um, it's uh, from a YJ, it's got 410 gears in it. And then there's the uh, Ford 8.8. It was already swapped into a YJ. Um, so you can see it's got the uh, spring perches, spring under uh, right now, um, 410 gears. All right, so working on these axles, I'm um, gonna start with the front today. I'm um, gonna try and tear it down a little bit. This is gonna be part one of a multi-part series of me working on these axles and getting them swapped in. So. Today we're going to work on the front, uh, get that taken apart a little bit. Uh, eventually I'll plan on going through and replacing the U-joints, um, change the fluid out, replace the hubs. When I swap it in, I'll get the brakes and calipers on there. Um, but um, yeah, so stick around, um, you know, let me know what you think and we'll get started. So first, uh, I'm going to take the uh, track bar and drag link off. Um, got the uh, ball joint at this end, and then another one uh, down at this end. We'll get those two taken off. And then the uh, steering stabilizer here in the middle, we'll have to remove that. We'll get that. There's my uh, workshop helper for the day, napping on the job. All right, so with the uh, track bar and steering stabilizer and all this stuff out of the way, we're now going to uh, take that front diff cover off and drain the oil out. Um, a tip, I know everyone says it online, but always remove your drain plug first. Um, you know, that way if it's seized or anything, um, you don't drain all your fluid out and then realize you can't fill it back up. Um, obviously in this case, that's a little different, but if you're changing the fluid on your Dana 30 um, while it's under your vehicle, you wanna make sure you can put fluid back in there. So just a, a tip. Another tip is leave one of the bolts loosened but halfway in that way when you uh, break this seal here it doesn't fall and, and make a bigger mess. And So that's mostly drained out. I uh, sprayed a little brake cleaner in there too, just to help clear things out. Um, we'll leave that open over the oil pan for now. Next thing we'll do is we'll move around here to the uh, central axle disconnect or CAD system. Um, so for those who don't know, on YJs, there's a vacuum system connected to the transfer case. Um, so when you put it in four low, there's a little coupler in here that will slide 
um, over this half of the axle shaft and engage the, uh, the outer side of the axle shaft. And that's what gives you four wheel drive. Um, so this is the CAD unit. Um, this is a little vacuum pump and inside here is a little piston with a uh, little fork for guiding that, that uh, coupler. So we'll get this taken off and take a look in there and make sure everything looks good. And then we'll keep moving on. So it's funny, um, looks like someone broke one of the bolts off. Um, and I say it's funny because I did the exact same thing on the axle that's in my Jeep. Um, so I don't know if it's a common thing. If anyone else has run into this issue, uh, let me know in the comments, but uh, I thought that was kind of funny. All right, so just a quick description of how the CAD system works. So this mounts right up there and you can see this fork will engage with uh, this coupler. And when you put in four wheel drive or four low, um, there's a vacuum that's pulled. So I guess here's two wheel drive and then four wheel drive slides over. What it does is it moves this coupler backwards and forward. So you can see uh, these axles are actually disconnected. If we're putting drive to the front axle, you can see this wheel will not spin, neither will that one. When you put in four-wheel drive and you put, get a vacuum on this coupler, it will eventually slide over and engage the outer axle shaft. So then you have four-wheel drive. All right, so it's a couple of days later. Um, I got all the fluid drained out of the uh, front diff and the, the CAD housing off. Um, but in order to move forward, uh, to take the uh, hubs off, uh, you need a 36 millimeter um, impact socket. So I had to order one of these. Um, so we'll jump into that. We'll get the hubs off each side um, and then we'll go from there. So to get the uh, hubs off, um, there's three of these bolts on the back. They're a half inch or 13 millimeters. And for whatever reason, uh, Chrysler decided to use a 12 point socket um, or 12 point bolt for these. So you will need a 12 point socket. Um, so I sprayed these with PV Blaster and uh, we'll get to see if we can't loosen them up.
right, so now that we got the um, hubs or arena bearings um, out of the knuckles, we're gonna try and get these knuckles off um, so that later down the line we can replace the ball joints. So we'll get started on that. Got the disc cover off, the fluid drained out, the CAD housing off, that fluid drained out of there. Um, we got the hubs off, we got the axles out, we got the knuckles off, uh, we got the steering off. Um, so in the next one, we're gonna be cleaning up this axle. We're gonna be putting it back together with new parts. So if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe, um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.